All right, you are still watching Wave Now. International Plastic Free Day is a call to action and brings attention to the plastic we use every day. Now, on May 25th, um, it commits to using no single um, to making no single use of plastic for one day, including bottles, takeout, food containers, utensils, bags, and wrappers. Um, over 380 million tons of plastic is produced every year. Half of all that plastic is single-use, meaning it's thrown away after just one use. Um, since only 9% of all plastic get recycled, most of it ends up littering our communities, filling our landfills, and polluting our oceans. So it's important that we set aside this day just to observe you know, um, how we can manage the use of plastic. I, I mean, we don't pay attention to these things here in Nigeria. Mm. But honestly speaking, when you go abroad, <laughs> like, look at your bag. You know, <laughs> like, my sister literally has two big cartons, yeah. like, open cartons where she buys fruit. You know, those cartons are, like, yeah. half. She has it in her boot permanently. Mm. So for every time she goes shopping, the, the carton is there to be mm -hmm. able to put in because nobody will give you any yeah. pa paper bag. Yeah. I remember one time I went to France. Nigeria. I went to a, 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 a mall to buy, I was buying clothes and all of that. First of all, the lady was looking at me. Because everybody that walked into that store, they, they just, no, they would just come out one small bag like this. Me, I was packing, I was packing. When the time can reach to give me, to, pack, to pay and check out and all of that, the lady was looking at me, so how do you hope to take the bag? And you know, there was, and you know, my French is not so great. Yeah. You know, but I was trying to, uh, do you know, they ended up giving me a bag for dustbin. Because they don't even yeah, have it in the store. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They ended up giving me dustbin bag to be able to carry the load that I bought. Because they, they kept on looking at me. I was wondering, why were they looking at me? Now I now understood that, ah, okay, I think okay, I, over, sure. I overstepped my <laughs> bounds. But how do you address plastic, you know? Because it's a major problem. Especially in a city like Lagos. Ah. Yeah. Uh, can we bring back that law where you can flog people? <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly speaking. Well, like sometimes you're throwing it out on <gasps> the cars, yeah. like on the road. And then it's... in the drainages, and especially this... Um, sachet water. Sachet water, and then yeah. this um, takeaway pack. Mm. It's horrible. Mm. We are actually our own problem. I feel like people horrible. should just keep their trash in the car, when they're in the car, and then they honestly. just no, trash it. It's, it's too much to ask. like, <laughs> and I'll try to... Like why is it just in the the foam, why it's so easy to the just throw. they don't see it as I, 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 it used to be a time that that yeah. thing was a law that if you try they flog you even the bus yeah. you take a public must have a basket yes true. as with everything in nigeria when there is no enforcement hmm. over time people get rather complacent i just want it's just, i just yeah. want the government to just mm. give us go ahead mm. everybody have koboko in your car <laughs> <laughs> if i cite you do you understand because i've seen people do it now mm. you throw it yeah. out they'll come down they will throw it back yeah. inside yeah. your yeah. car yeah. Yeah. i know yeah, some african yeah. countries where they'll say you yes. have to pick it up yeah not just maybe place or normal citizens will go and say go and pick it up yes because why you literally in the floor even Benin republic you do they don't show things anyhow do you understand like we have to stop it it's madness it is because we're complaining about look at look at yesterday. Mm. I left the studio at 9:30. I didn't get home until 12 midnight. Why? It rained mm. and there was traffic. So the whole roads were flooded. Mm. What causes the flood? What the blocks the drainage? Yeah. Come things. on. So we need to be serious about yeah. this plastic yeah. thing in yeah. this country. We yeah. have to. Yeah. We have not even talked about the, the impact it has on fishes because yeah. now you end up buying fish that have plastic in their system, it ends up coming yeah, back to you as cancer. The ocean is degrading <laughs> you know? the ocean. So it's everything. crazy. It's just, yeah. So we have to really be serious about it. Let the uh, government take it seriously. So who are we starting with? Let me start with you, Chloe. What, what do you find first? Um, so it's about what's been trending on Twitter, about a police official called Fauzi, I hope I get her name correctly, Isiak, who was detained because she tendered her resignation letter. So it reads... The spokesman of the Lagos State Police Command, Benjamin Hundiying, has said that a police officer, Fauzia Isiak, was detained because she absconded from duty. Mm -hmm. um, it further reads that um, on Thursday morning, she to, to Twitter um, to her Twitter account saying that she was detained for resigning from the force. According to her, she tendered her resignation letter in 2022 on several occasions, but, remained, but it remains unapproved since then. 
So she stopped, apparently she stopped coming to work and she was then detained um, with the reason being that um, she misrepresented facts in her tweets and that on one of her, some, on her letter of resignation, her letter of resignation was not approved and therefore it's not accepted. She can only stop working once her letter of resignation has been approved. Since 2020? Since 2022. 2022. So it's a long read, so I don't want to go through the whole something. It's in most of the very popular newspapers. So my question is, is this not indirect slavery? So I don't want to work anymore. I've tendered my well, resignation. You for what? I'm just <laughs> six months ago. <laughs> like, this oh. I'm, I'm fighting an example. Six months fact, ago, I've tendered my resignation. If you're <laughs> bringing your resignation, are you kidding me? <laughs> I arrest you. I've been infected in you. <laughs> Let me just be warning you. Okay, I I so, like, what the hell is this for crying out loud since 2022? Like, this is almost, this is indirect slavery now. So people don't but have... wait, a, now, is there a reason why her resignation was not, not approved? approved? Exactly. Is and there something maybe she's yes. holding on to the... the that is she under can, investigation? Is she under investigation? She, what exactly is the reason? Exactly. She, she would submit a resignation and it was not approved. And then, you know, I don't know, like the military, you know, they have a um, tough duty, mm. you know, like four years or two years or three... I don't know if that applies to the Nigerian so you must, you you must, must serve serve within that a particular yes. period of time before you can. I think those are information we need to mm, confirm. Yeah. But the disturbing fact, I don't, I, we need to confirm that on Twitter is that um, whosoever brought this to social media said um, she's been refrained from seeing her family, even access to lawyer and all uh -huh. of those things. Okay, so that means I don't, it's, it's deeper than that. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, that's, yeah. 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 So I think maybe there's hmm. more. There's to, the police more, has so. to respond yeah, yeah, to this. Yeah, so. yeah, this yeah. is real strong allegations. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Tell me your story. Okay, well, my story is a video. So um, What's the video about? Well, the video with um, Pete Edoche, Ooh. when he was trying to greet um, the Oba, and some people on the internet were like, he's, he's supposed to have prostrated mm. as respect and reverence for the crown. But then... Peter Doche is a title chief. He's a title chief. He's a title chief in, yeah. in the Igbo culture, and a title chief does not bow for anybody. Mm -hmm. Do you get? Plus, if we're looking at it age wise, he's a lot El older than this Which person. Which of the. Only of, of, of it. Yes, yeah. now. He's a lot older than he is age wise. Then, because he's a title chief, he cannot, there's no way. So, the best he could have done was to greet him the way Igbo, Igbo people would yes, greet yes, their yes, fellow chiefs yes. or a king in this case. Yes. Now, but some people were like, because he's a Yoruba king, he should have done it. Never. I mean, but the thing no. is, the, the, mm -hmm. the beautiful thing about this video is that I think that the culture shock was handled properly. Yeah. Because the, the king oh, did not. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. He only also a black king. Yeah. He, he, yeah. Did, he, yeah. Yeah. he didn't look like. Uh, uh, yeah. Why, yeah. you know? Yeah. 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 So why are people not drinking Panadol? I even think, think it's enough respect. Nigeria. Is that Pesidoche walks to meet him where he was exactly. sitting. So he, he greeted him the way yeah. an Igbo man would yeah. have greeted someone in his position. And I think that that's fine. Yeah. We, we, are, we are a country with diverse cultures Culture. and yeah. all that. So you yeah. can't expect one person to to bow to your own culture because your culture I will is tell you supreme something when we something. go on a break, but not you know? on air. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say that Kate Henshaw, I saw a video where Kate Henshaw went to greet Peter Jodie. In fact, then, tears came to my eyes. She was, immediately she went into the room, she was on her two knees. He held her head, prayed for her, and kissed her on the forehead. Yes. Wow. Do you understand? So mm -hmm. he's a deity. Yeah. I don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it's yes. Peter, yes. don't say it. If you say it, 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 don't don't say it. I mean, if, again, if we talk about Yoruba people being a people of culture, I would imagine that the even the only knows that this than is an elderly yeah. man. Yeah. That's why I said if we're going to look at it age wise, yeah. you don't expect yeah. this person to yeah. bow yeah. down for And it's not in his palace now. This is a party. They are mm. a party, a social event. Even if it's a palace, ah. it is even where. Though. Even um, though, even though, <laughs> even though. You're like, even you're still okay. So this one is um, a happy news for me. Um, the headline is two remaining kidnapped um, FGC. Yaori girls released after 707 days. And um, you know, this story broke in 2021, 17th of June, when um, bandits invaded um, the school, um, that's Federal Government College, Benin um, Yaori in Kebi. 
and um, it was reported that um, some of the girls had become teenage mothers. Um, about four others were pregnant, you know, and um, I remember that um, there was a lot of opera then, you know, how they would have gone into school and done all that. But apparently, you know, the, the government, the state government could not um, meet the demands of the bandits, you know. I think they requested for about 100 million. So it fell to the families of these kidnapped, you know, kids, you know, who had to raise that funds. But I, I don't know, as um, sad as the situation is, for me, I mean, them being reunited with their families is, I mean, imagine a parent that goes to sleep every night, you know, <laughs> you, uh, uh, exactly. So having them come back home, you know, to their families is just something mm. of joy and mm. I'm, I'm I would happy. I like to talk I'm more happy. on this kidnap yeah. issue because yeah. we are talking about the mm. scorecard, whether mm. Nigeria has progressed under President Buhari. Mm. This is one major yeah. issue. So he said, and um, this is referring to our president in his remark, his farewell speech that he gave. You know, he attended his last FEC, um, Federal Executive Council meeting, mm. right? He thanked the staff at the villa for accommodating them for the past eight years. He's also thanked all his um, ministers, um, appreciating all of them and saying that, you know, despite many odds and challenges and sustain. Um, they sustained the synergy and and that translated into many um, achievements, you know, saying that he's proud um, that they gave their best. Um, the president also directed the ministers, you know, to continue um, to, to on their duty posts and avoided last minute rush. And he said they should work with the new administration. I don't think normally you're supposed to dissolve your cabinet. He didn't dissolve this the this particular cabinet. He said they will continue work, you know. Um, he said in case um in the course of their years together, ranging from the newest additions to the oldest members of the team for the past um, seven and a half years, we have deferred on many issues. I urge that we understand that those positions were for the collective good. No one should keep grievances or carry those differences forward. For those of us that will not directly be in government, I know that I am one of such. He said he wants to go back to his farm. I ask that we continue to provide support in whatever way we can if called upon by the great party, that's the All Progressive Congress, that gave us a platform to stand. And um, I mean, he attributed all the good work and good will received by the administration to, to God's intervention, adding that he thanked God for strength and for keeping all of them together um, he looks forward to going back to um, Daura. Daura and uh, <laughs> he has seen. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And he, he says, I look forward to seeing many of you disproving that Daura has not become too distant because I'm no longer president. Uncle, you should know. Power is. Now the chair that they follow. Forget all those things. It's the chair. <laughs> Uncle, Dara will be deep, he will be distant, trust me. It's not Nigerians you are dealing with. Nigerians don't have loyalty to anybody. At all. It's the seat that they are after. If that seat is gone, you're your gone. Is Power is transient, I mean. Right, very transient too. So I wish us all the best and hope to hear good news, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Thank you, God, Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you, our president. So we'll come back to you. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. We'll no, he's still president. So, hey, president for life. Deal. <laughs> <laughs> it's not for no, That's what they call it. Yeah. Until they will tell us that he's now former. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Until May 29th. <laughs> Officially. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. So we'll go on a break. When we come back from that break, we want to see the scorecard of President Mohamed Bouhari. Mm. Has Nigeria progressed under his leadership? Stay mm. with us. We'll be right back.